Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. I'm Mike Micron, your host here at Micron Engine and Machine. Today we have a nice little project to do. We have a cylinder here from a Kawasaki KLR dual sport motorcycle. And the owner used this thing pretty hard. You can feel, well you can't feel, but I can feel a little bit of a ridge here in the ring turnaround area. So we're going to go ahead and bore this oversize. The customer has furnished us with a special oversized piston that he has chosen so we're going to go ahead and set up here in the boring machine and get to it as you can see we have the cylinder set up on some risers here uh, give us clearance down below when the quill from the boring bar comes through we need that clearance so what we're going to do now is get ourselves set up this is all air floated so we're going to kind of get ourselves close and start moving our holders here into position, making sure to give ourselves enough room to center up the air float head. Looks like we're going to be okay here. Snug this down, move to the other side, kind of get that where we want it. snug this down kind of move the bar a little bit make sure we have adequate room looks like we'll be able to center up just fine and now we're going to air up okay now we are clamped clamped between our parallels and our risers, the cylinder is held firmly in between. Next thing we're going to do is make sure that we are square on all four corners. Make sure that we got a 1,000th feeler gauge here. So we're going to make sure that everything is square. Uh, we'll reach around action here on the back side. That looks good. And the same thing. same thing back here so we're nice and square we'll lock this down and now we are going to float the bar into position the way this is going to work is we have leaves or veins uh, I think they, the manufacturer calls these leaves Call them veins, call them what you will. Anyway, we're going to make sure that there's no chips on them. So we're going to rotate and hit all three of them. Okay, the next step is to go down below where the ridge is, just above the ring turnaround area. And we're going to float. We're going to open up our leaves. We're going to float the machine. Find our center. Okay, airlock that down. Once again, our 1,000th feeler gauge. And we're going to make sure that we're centered in the bore. We're going to be boring this to 30 over, and then we're going to hone the last 5,000th. Centering leaf here. Make sure we get that. Snug there. Okay, all three points. Okay, now we're good. Now we're where we need to be. The next step is to go ahead and set the tool bit. And then we can go ahead and bore this and then do the finish home. 
All right, I'm going to set the tool bit off camera, and we'll bring you back when we're ready to go here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We've got our tool bit, or our cutter bit set here. Uh, this cylinder is going to go nearly 100 thousandths oversize. So rather trying to do that in one pass, we're going to take three passes, and we're going to go three, or we're going to go two heavier passes, and then the finished pass is going to be lighter at a little bit more RPM. And with our serve equip bar here, we have infinitely variable spindle RPM and feed rate, so we can control that. This is a solid cylinder, it's a four stroke, so that's not nearly as important here, but on a two stroke it does make a big difference. So, anyway, let's load our tool bit, we're centered up, we're locked down, we know where we're at, so, here we go, we're locked down, now we're going to set our tool, our speed, This is kind of a good starting point. Uh, we've got some new tool bits here. These things seem to like speed. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to go a little bit slow because we've got the ridge up here from uh, the ring turnaround. We'll start a little bit slow and see how it feels and then we can always speed up or we can slow down as the case may be. So here we go. We're going to get ourselves down kind of close start and go ahead and engage I know this is boring haha <laughs> plan words right so here we go this is our first pass this is the heaviest part of the pass at the top of the cylinder and we may even get some hollow spots just right below this before we get up to our size. But we're going to let this go and run through the cylinder and we'll bring it back for the next pass. Okay ladies and gentlemen, we are on our final pass and we split our dimension a little bit bigger than a third, a third, and now the final third, which is going to be a lighter cut at a little faster RPM. It's going to give us a nice finish, and after that, we're going to home. We've taken out nearly a hundred thousandths, so it's going to give us about four to five thousandths to hone, and then we will bring you back when we're done with this, so you can see us hone and put the proper cross hatch in here and here we go keep in mind also that we really condensed this because watching a tool spin for 10 minutes is probably very uninteresting so we're just hitting the highlights of it, and this takes a lot longer than it seems like it does in our little video here. So here we are on the final pass. This will be a nice smooth one. It's not a roughing pass, it's a finishing pass. And when we're done, we're going to let this cool. Although it's fairly cool anyway, it's pretty cool in the shop here, and we're not taking heavy cuts. So we're going to let it cool, and then we're going to get to honing. So we'll bring you back for the honing and then we'll finish it up okay here we are got our cylinder mounted up in the hone so we're going to take the final few thousands out this way what this will do is give us a proper cross hatch which is going to hold the oil for the rings to break in and then also give us a good uh, ring seal for good compression so here's how we hone put a little tension on here